My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. It is another beautiful day and of course we're going to go out for a walk. We're going somewhere new. We are at Colli di Fontanella, which is in between Sorrento and Positano. I've just stopped because I'm by this big gate with this sort of abandoned driveway with an amazing view behind me. Anyhow, I'm with Carlo and Zia Lucy and we're going off all the way down there. I've been left behind. I'm just going to catch up with them. <laughs> Friendly. We're not quite sure where the pathway starts. Well, she's found somebody she knows and she's just checking. She has done this walk before, but as she said, about 12 years ago. We haven't done it. Oh, Connie, did you see it? Fava beans and lettuces growing on the side of the road. Look how beautiful it is here with that little pathway between the olive trees and the view, of course, all the way over to Praiano. We are just deciding that we're actually going to go and get one of the cars and bring it down here because it's quite a long road to get to where the pathway actually starts. So we'll probably regret it if we don't. So Carla's just going to pop back up. Okay. And pop back up and bring the car down. Okay, we're just going to drive down to where the pathway actually starts and then we will start again. Wow, what a place to park a car. Okay, I got a comment on my last video saying how lovely that you and Carla can spend all your time together. Um, I just wanted to point out that Carla does have a full-time job and we don't spend all of our time together. He gets two days off a week and those are the days that you see us together in the videos because we will go out and do something. And the videos are actually a great inspiration for us to actually get out and do something constructive with our day. It inspires us to find something interesting to do or somewhere to go, something to visit, and we make the most of those two days off. We often will have a day at home because there's a lot to do in the garden, obviously, but then we will have a day like today when we will go exploring. The galliales look completely different from this angle. You can see two of them clearly. There's actually three. The little woodland area with glimpses of blue through the trees. I ooh, can't talk while I'm filming. I'm going to stop for a minute. <laughs> I didn't know about this pathway. I found out about it recently when I went to visit Marta up at La Selva and she told me about it. And since then I was desperate to do it. But of course we've been in lockdown for a few weeks and we couldn't because this is just over the county border so I wasn't allowed to come here. But now we are back into yellow zone, I think, and we decided it's the first thing we wanted to do. So here we are. It's one of those pathways that is pretty much made up of broken pieces of rock, so it's very uneven to walk on. It's very hard to film and walk at the same time. The fencing here is <laughs> rather scarce, and there's a little bit of a sharp drop down there. I'm not going to lean over the edge. Uh, there's actual signs of people down there. Now, this was not expected. This is a doorway here. This must be old. Porta di Santa Elia. No, probably it was a, a different um, 
a border between two different areas, even if there were two provinces. For example, in between the Capri and Dana Capri, uh, Capri and Dana Capri were two different towns. So people from Capri didn't like people from Anna Capri, and there was a door in the middle that was called the door of the difference. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, we have to go and find that. It. It's down below the Villa San Michele. Okay. You can find it. And it's a door, it's not like this one, it's squared. But uh, it was dividing uh, the two different towns in a small island. Incredible. Incredible. Ah. But when we were kids, there was um, a difference between people who lived uh, in Chiesa Nuova and people who lived in downtown Positano. Yeah. Do you know the difference? People who lived in Chiesa Nuova were called the people from the Bronx. Questa è una puttanata. Eh, lo so, but... I don't know. No, vabbè, voglio dire, ma io quando ero ragazzino queste cose comunque esistevano. Sì, It's true because Carla's mum always gets really, really angry when she goes to the Chiesa Nuova to do the shopping and then people stop her and say, oh, what are you doing in these parts? And she's like, it's the same village. It's just the other side of the town. It's crazy. <laughs> We are um, wondering if this one is from uh, the 79 AD eruption or uh, maybe other centuries. 16th century wasn't there one yeah probably yeah. 16th centuries there were many 16th and 17th century so probably that one is Ah, deve essere spaventoso pensare che il Vesuvio ha sparato questa roba a quanto 15 16 km di distanza mm. Ma, but when there's uh, the eruption i don't know if you know about the eruption it's called the Pliniana from Pliny the younger the one who described the eruption It's like uh, a huge uh, um, colonnade of lapilli and then it spreads all over. So it can be even 15 kilometers higher. Wow. Amalfi Coast Paradise, book your adventure now. Farm life, trekking and climbing, picnic area. Forse qua è venuto a mangiare Luigi. I have no idea what it is or who they are. It's quite hard to get to though. <laughs> what is that? Some sort of zucca, zucchini. The mountainside here is full of fresh wild rosemary and spearmint. Olive trees, it smells beautiful. And after going down rather a lot of steep steps, we've suddenly come to a gate. Honestly, we are in the middle of nowhere, it's just mad. Benvenuti a Porta Sant'Elia, dove i viaggi immaginari, immaginati e immaginari sono possibili. There was obviously life here years ago, all of these terraces and walls everywhere, it's incredible. I've just spotted one of the old Saracen Towers down there, I wonder if we're going to it. I've seen that so many times passing by on a boat. Look what we found now, a little house. Wow. 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 This was where they used to feed the uh, goats or the ah. sheep. And it looks like at one point there was a second floor as well, but that is not there anymore. Apparently there's another surprise ahead. I keep getting left behind. Wow. Allora, this is what Marta said. She said there was an abandoned village down here. Incredible. Here, where she 
Uh, it's vanished up here. Oh, we're inside. Oh, wow. This is the old oil press. Don't it say? That's a laugh. See? <laughs> it's a, it's a amazing. It's incredible. What else is there? The pathway goes on. Now, we're not sure who's on the right path here, so I'm going ahead in front of the house just to see if there's any other buildings. Maybe there's a shopping centre, McDonald's, who knows? And Carla's going back to check if the pathway actually was going down the mountain. <laughs> Carla's just shouted, we found El Dorado. <laughs> I found another house. And not to forget the view from here, Sacuilevante. Oh. And wow. Really, it's more of a stall than a house. Allora, dove siamo? Where are we? Qua uh, siamo alla punta. Non so come si chiama qua. I don't know. It's uh, in between uh, Ligalli and Crapola, which is around the corner. Yeah. Vinny. Yeah. Vinny, Vinny qua. Go Vinny, Vinny down there. Ma chi su se niente la porta coco parte? O finisce. Porta tutto, però è lontana. So he's just told us that there is, I knew there was a little abandoned church somewhere around here and it is right down there. So we need to go back to that big house and take the pathway down. Eh, guarda cosa ho trovato, un'altra pietra da macina, si vede, si riconosce perché è tonda, wow. è dal buco al centro. And it's been used to make a wall. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't bring a bag to collect all these myrtles and make... Myrtle juice? Cosa la vuoi fare? Cough syrup? Myrtle? Back towards the big house. We are hungry, we need food. Devi abituare ai comandi, ancora non so esattamente qual è a destra, che tu vuoi, si giri il drone, adesso... Ah! Va bene, pure a te. Sta stronza. Che paura, ma fatevi via. Le gallette. Ma dove sono, giusto per? È l'una e mezza. Ah, faccio cazzo. Allora oggi non mangiamo, niente. Non mangiamo, non moriamo. We're not going to die if we don't eat. Let's go and see what's down here. I think we have arrived. It took only about five minutes walking down. Yes, look at this. Amazing. This is a watchtower, one of the Norman watchtowers. It's obviously been rebuilt because it's pristine. Amazing, and we're very close to the sea now. In fact, it's just down here. There's people down there fishing. This is my new favourite place. And I haven't even looked at the little church behind the town yet. Okay, well, that's a bit of a mess in there. But the view from the window is not bad. We've arrived back at the car. It's 20 past three. We started this walk around about 11 o'clock this morning. Um, and we haven't stopped really. So we've walked the whole time. No food. So we've got to go and find some food now. Kitchen! <laughs> 